tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Computer animation. Let's get started with animation. Hi there, I hope everything is good. I show you something about 360 degree photographs. I did some in the office and studio building where I usually work. And uh, for example, this, uh, this one here is um, glass, a glass uh, wall. And uh, this part shows that building with uh, several lights. And uh, we can use these kind of 360 degree images for lighting up a scene with a single light called the sky dome light which you're probably familiar with let me show you another one uh, this is a shopping bag a paper shopping bag and uh, the camera is at the very bottom of that bag it's right here and uh, it's a 360 degree camera um, and you see the bluish tint here coming from the top from outside so that's an interesting uh, light as well. You would never think that it is a light. And I'll show you a third thing. This is, uh, I think I did that with uh, my smartphone by stitching 24 pictures together with the usual, with the pretty common panorama function here. And you can look all around. You have only one light, maybe two light sources in the scene, the artificial light and natural light here with basically the same color. And uh, you can do these kind of things with your smartphone. You do, don't need a 360 degree camera for that, although it's recommendable because you just place the cam camera somewhere and press uh, via a Wi-Fi connection. You, uh, you hide, I, th I think I hid up there behind that door. You just hide there and then uh, via vi Wi-Fi you just uh, make that photograph. Anyway, um, let's create a simple scene and I'll show you what I mean. Let's give that plane a new material, a uh, standard surface shader, and um, let us map that shader with a grid. And in order to see it, we need to click here. This is the grid we have. Um, I like to turn the colors around from black to white and white to black. Okay, now I create, uh, well, let's say something NURBS like, like the NURBS Taurus. And I scale it up and I go to the this entry here and I open that Taurus, move it even further up, and right mouse click, give it a new material an Arnold standard surface shader and I make that shader uh, with the presets here which you probably can't see perfectly but gold here is the gold it looks black because well whatever now we need a third object in order to see something different let's create a NURBS sphere and new material again Arnold standard surface shader and uh, let's uh, give it a clay texture which is uh, red and I control D duplicate that object here move it a little bit over here and make it smaller and now shift D I repeat that process several times so they get smaller and smaller and uh, like this in the scene. When we render it with Arnold we get a black screen because we have no light in the scene. Okay, lights, sky dome light. Just for your information if you've never seen it, it's a huge light which you can actually make smaller. You can rotate it, you can do all, all kinds of ma manipulations with that light, but in the default settings it gives a very nice light effect. And now we switch to the viewport rendering here, turn on Arnold and run that rendering. It's totally white and we have nothing really interesting up here but interesting down here because of the grid. Now let's map the background with a 360 degree image. So we select it, 
either here or there in the viewport and um, we go to color and click on this icon here we need to map it not with a grid we need to map it with a file because our 360 degree images are files all of a sudden the whole rendering goes a little bit darker because uh, we uh, Arnold doesn't know what kind of file texture we want so it grays out uh, many things I think this is the shopping bag so uh, with the shopping bag in the scene the whole scene turns brown and you see um, little bl bluish tints up here because we have that at the top of our bag you remember up here so we have basically the same image as before it's now right here in our scene if we don't want to see the shopping bag just click on it or select the sky dome light go a little bit further down here actually we need yeah go a little bit further down here and under visibility just turn the camera from one to zero so you don't see that light anymore that source of the light but the effect of the light you do see why do you still see it because it's selected in the viewport rendering you need to deselect it and then it goes black but the effect is still here as you can see so that's quite an interesting uh, view here let's change these shader here of our little spheres and make them chrome So the whole scene is in a brownish tint. We'll introduce another 360 degree, degree photo now, which is totally not brown. So let's select another one. For example, that one. It's an office building in 360 degree. And all of a sudden, the whole tint turns diff uh, into a different way and it looks much more natural now because you see reflection which where everybody sees that this is probably a window and when you get closer to these spheres you see that uh, something interesting is happening all the reflections are there because of that image let's try out a third light here it's all one light in the scene as you can see and if it's not bright enough just pump up the intensity like this if you're really beautiful and uh, it's almost in real time it's a really nice rendering so um, a third image the heating basement needs to load and now all of a sudden uh, it changes again you see and this is really nice and so easy to use that I can only recommend do it take 360 degree photographs and use them this is one of the gas tanks here reflecting in the gold it's a simple sky dome light is that amazing yes I know you want to see one more okay let's go for it oh yes this is a winter drone photograph which I took in 360 degrees so the drone was 50 meters up and uh, it automatically took uh, a 360 degree panorama photo uh, by stitching the different photos together and that's being loaded into the scene it's so beautiful really and if you feel the necessity to turn this light around just rotate it so we have a totally different light effect now of course and with this I leave you alone and have fun with 360 degree photographs and use them as a basic lighting source in Maya using the sky dome light in Arnold bye bye